we were taught that 300 was a normal cholesterol level. 300. Perfectly normal. And yet what are we told today? Remember what this guy was told when he was 220? This is dangerous. It is not dangerous. Do you remember the two systems I showed you last night? One's based on lies and deception. The other one's based on truth. The truth is based on the fact that God created our body with an inbuilt ability to heal itself and it will heal itself when you give it the right conditions. Eliminating fat, lowering fat, has not stopped heart disease. There is one fat that if you stop, it will help, and that's the altered fats. That's the dangerous fats. They're, you know them because they're all in clear plastic bottles. <laughs> they're all your vegetable oils. They're all dangerous. When I went shopping with Richard, I think it was yesterday, to buy me some food, I, was, I found some very nice organic olive oil from Italy in a glass dark bottle. Yes, olive oil does have one little empty spot on its molecular structure, so it is sensitive to light and heat, but not as sensitive as the others that have three empty spots on their molecular structure. So when you buy it, buy it in dark bottles. And I put it in my lentils just before I serve them. The Framingham Heart Study. I like this study. It wasn't funded by the pharmaceutical companies or the meat industry or the dairy industry or the cereal industry. It's an independent study and they set it up about 40 years ago, about 30, 35,000 people in this little town. Some die, more come on. And they set it up to prove that cholesterol causes heart disease. Well, it's 40 years later now and it still hasn't proved that. But what it has proved is that people with high cholesterol levels don't get Alzheimer's. Do you need a moment's silence for that? People with high cholesterol levels don't get Alzheimer's because the brain is the fattiest organ in the body. And in the brain cell, the brain is made up of these nerve cells. And we're going to look at the nerve cells in detail on Friday night and on Saturday morning. So this fatty substance that's around the arm that comes out of the nerve cell, that's what takes the membrane around the nerve cell up to 70%. And that fatty substance there is a cholesterol type substance, a lipid. And that, that plays a very important role in protecting the nerve cell from damage from mercury or heavy metals or chemicals. It also insulates the nerve cell. It conducts the messages through the nerve cell. And that's why the nerve cell is 70% fat. So what can we do to prevent heart disease? Now that I have shown your what officially has been done to reduce heart disease. And now that I've shown you that none of it has worked because it's still the number one killer. Let's look at these basic laws. We looked at them yesterday. And because these are the true remedies I always apply them to every illness. Sunshine. Why do we need sunshine for our heart? Because vitamin D is necessary. But remember, the ultraviolet rays from the sun hit a form of cholesterol just under the skin to vitamin D. And so in our nutrition, we need to be having good amounts of fats. And the best fats are your plant fats. Your oils are concentrated. You don't need much. <laughs> but you do need some. You do need some. Use of water. 
There's a few things that we're looking at in in uh, heart disease. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep the heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Leviticus 17.11 says, The life of the flesh is in the blood. So that issue of life is the blood. So we've got to look at the heart and how we can keep it strong. We've got to look at the blood vessels, how we can keep them supple. And we've got to look at the blood, how we can keep it nice and thin so that it's running well. One other thing that they have done for, in an attempt to lower heart disease is put everyone over the age of 50 on aspirin. Left out the S there, aspirin. Does that work? No. The number one cause of stomach ulcers is aspirin because it causes the stomach to bleed. But they've found a few more things out about aspirin. It's causing eye bleeds and it's causing brain bleeds. Eye bleeds means deterioration of eyesight. Brain bleeds means deterioration of brain function. Whew. Drugs never cure disease. They just change the form and location. So as we go through our laws, I'm also going to be discussing some herbs that are particularly helpful with heart disease. Use of water. Water is the best blood thinner. When I used to work at Misty Mountain Health Retreat a few years ago, I used to do a live blood analysis. I would take one drop of blood when the people come in. I would put it on the, on the slide and then put it up on the little television screen under the microscope and it came up on the television and everyone could look at their blood. And every now and then, by the way, blood should be like this. It pops around, pops around. And every now and then, I'd look at a blood slide and it's like this. And I would always presume I'd spoil the slide. It's easy to spo spoil a slide. Five blood slides later, it still looked like that. So I said to the person, uh, how much water have you drunk today? And I remember this one girl, she was only 18. She said, I don't drink water. I said, yeah, mercy. <laughs> I said, well, I can't look at your blood. <laughs> it's just all clumped together. I can't tell what the cells look like. And her mother walked in the door and I said, let's look at your mother's blood. And the mother's blood was like this. And I said, your mother's 25 years older than you and she's got better blood than you. Hmm, she said. See, she didn't really want to be at our health retreat. She was annoyed that her mother had brought her. But that shocked her and she started to drink more water. I looked at her blood later in the week and it looked like this. <laughs> That's, dehydration is easy fixed. It's called drink more water. Lovely story about this girl. After the first lecture, she became interested, excited, got a pen, got a paper. And at the end of the week, you know what she said to me? I wish this was the first day. I saw her mother 10 years later and she said, she's a mother now and she's doing everything she learned at Misty Mountain. <laughs> Knowledge is power, yeah? And that's why I know that the best blood thinner is water. We had a pathologist do our program and he said, we did studies on caffeine. He said, you know, it takes five glasses of water to take a make up for the dehydrating agents in one cup of coffee. And of course, especially if that coffee has a teaspoon or, or two of sugar in it. But I want to introduce you to another blood thinner. Actually, I think this is a good colour for it. Cayenne pepper. Some people get a little bit concerned about cayenne pepper, saying, isn't it a stimulant? It is, but it's not a nervous system stimulant. It's a blood stimulant. And if the life of the flesh is in the blood, a herb that stimulates more blood to the area means more healing. Blood brings water, it brings nutrients, it brings oxygen, it carries away waste, it carries the, the red blood cells. So more blood means more life, as the Bible says, more 